So hello guys, welcome to this video. I'm Home Dai and I actually made this video to so that it can help everybody who's been asking about how to change the name here. The languages to have multiple languages. So that's what we'll be looking up in this video. And before we start, uh, I'd like to announce that I have a course that is right here on YouTube, but it's on a private playlist. So it's all, it's for sale, it's at a uh, nineteen dollars. So what the course contains is it has some various customizations that are very awesome and pretty cool. So it's more about you wanting to run more about PHP. Right? So we have calculations with JavaScript, jQuery, everything like that. We have some awesome additives. And also in the next videos, I'll be looking at how to integrate uh, bootstrap dashboards because I figured most of the guys here don't really like uh, the uh don't really like the bootstrap whatever they don't like the what php has to offer for the front end but not to worry i have made some few additives also have a minor plugin that i made here as you can see you don't have this closeable in your php ad it's just in mine but i'll be sharing this code in the course so down below in the description you'll find a whatsapp link group you find a link for our subgroup which actually contains several PHP guys. And uh, once you log in, just look for Homemodai and I'll be helping you with how you're going to go about uh, getting into the course and everything like that. It's not that expensive, it's just uh, a good amount to help me make these videos for you guys. So as you can see, I have made a few plugins, just one plugin here. It's just a collapsible. As you can see it's just a collapsible it doesn't have this so i'll be releasing it in the course so don't worry about it uh, as you can see let's just reload this and uh, let's reload this so that you can see what you have so this is what we'll be working with just a drop down here also guys uh, i also tried to make some few uh, awesome additives with bootstrap shadows so that you can play around with them so everything will be looking at it in the course also in the course we have role management in the graphs so you can dynamically show graphs of a particular user at a particular time so you don't have to worry about it also some minor customizations also come around in the course multiple calculations awesome requests so you can also make a request in the video and you actually pay for it so it's pretty easy so right here we have master relationship tables. everything that will be in the course just here there we have graphs you see these shadows here pretty awesome shadows also we have other shadows in here as you can see so without much further ado guys let's go down to business so all right so let me show you how we do this first whenever you're creating a new project make sure you check this enable multi languages so make sure you check that if you haven't checked that also the, there's also the uh, the area for okay for the languages so if you, if you have a project you have started already and you need languages don't worry about it, I'll show you how to do it. So once you check that, what we want to do here, we will, let me just switch this back to fixed top. I'll be working with mine later on. Let's reload this. So what we want in this, uh, on the, at this time, we will just need to change this language from English to something different. Uh, let, let's, let's just turn it to Spanish. So what we want to do now, we just need to go to our uh, HT docs so don't worry I had already done that and you need to navigate the folder where your project is then navigate all the way to languages so if you checked that you'll be getting English as a default one or whichever you select as a default here so in case you need to add more we just need to open these with our code editor and as you can see, let's let's let, let, wait for it to open. 
right, so don't worry, I already I had already done this because I had recorded a video and then I kind of stopped it in between, so I, I had to do it again. So bear with me. So here we go, guys. So we have this. So what we need to do, we need to copy all of this, copy it, then go to Google and you want to open trans Google Translate here. So what you need to do is just write uh, Google Translate. Just write Google Translate, then click Enter. Then something should pop up. Just close this. Let's stick to this. So awesome. So there you go. Let's go to Google Translate. Right here. Let's go. Let's go. up with this internet let's wait for it just a few seconds all right so there we go this is what we'll be having so what you need to do you need to copy whatever you copied here you need to paste it there all right all right all right, all right. so this is what we copied we paste it here we paste it here and we need to uh, we need to actually uh, Translate it so Google translates it to us to Spanish. So what we need to do we just need to copy whatever they translated So go down here. They have a section to copy Copy it there as you can see transition copied. So now what you need to do we need to create a new file So let's create a new file And let's copy our code in here and uh, So whatever you copy there is whatever we, uh, we translated then we need to save us. So let it wait for it to open. So what you need to do, you just need to navigate to navigate all the way to YouTube to its languages. So you're just going to call it Spanish dot any. So don't forget, don't forget to write it to Spanish dot any, whatever you need it to be. So there we go. Our project is translated successfully. So let's go back here. Let's go here, reload the changes. Wait for it to change, reload. So now watch here, what down here. So now what you need to do, we need to change this. So as you can see, Spanish is now there. So just change it. So unexpected uh, data sign on languages Spanish line 223. So don't worry about it. Let's just go and check out what is wrong. All right, so there you go. Let's just come back here and let's see what we copied. So English, this is what we copy, right? So copy it. Then we need to do something like uh, all right. So let's go back here and try go back here and try translating. If you get such an error, just don't stress it, just try and translating it back again. Alright, so let's let's do this. Just cancel this and test it again. So copy that, come back to Spanish, delete it, then save it, then we need to reload this, let's see if the error goes away. So they're saying unexpected ending. Awesome, so the error is gone away and as you can see our code, our, our system has changed the languages. So let's see, for example, what we have here, as you can see, 
changes the language is pretty awesome. Let's see. All right, so here, here it is. Changes everything. As you can see, changed. All right, so for now it should be, it should have changed it. Oh yeah, don't worry about this. It should change. It's just because it's just fetching from the database directly because I I just got the database from here. But you can see, uh, it's just changed. Guess number. What, what does that mean? <laughs> All right, so that's how you change the name, but you can change it back. That's how you change the fonts or everything like that. So as you can see, it's back again. It's back again. So that will be all for the course, guys. Uh, see you around. See you next. Hope you take the course for the sake of learning. And uh, don't forget to check out that link in the description below for the WhatsApp. So see you in the next video, guys.